Okay, guys, here is another video for lesson six. I apologize um, for having to make a second video, but um, as one of the other teachers and I were looking at the plan for the rest of the week and next week before Christmas break, we realized that um, we needed to squish some things together. So here's just a quick video to show you how to solve quadratics by squaring. Okay, so here we'll just do some quick examples, and then you will have some problems like this on your Math Excel work. So um, you do need to make sure you understand these problems. Okay, so you can solve quadratics by squaring when you're only given the x squared or the variable squared term. There's no variable with just an x. So when you're given that, you can just square. So square both sides, or square root both sides, I mean. So take the square root of both sides. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 49 is plus or minus 7. Okay, so you can have your answer like this. In Math Excel, you can also do negative 7 comma 7. Either one of those will work. Okay, number 2. We have 3x squared equals 10. We can divide both sides by 3 and get x squared equals 10 thirds and square root by both sides. That gives us x equals the square root of 10 thirds, or plus or minus the square root of 10 thirds. Okay, the x squared equals 81. Take the square root of both sides and you get x equals plus or minus 9. All right, number 4 is a little bit different. You're going to square both sides and you're left with x plus 3 equals 3, or equals plus or minus 3, sorry. I keep forgetting that. And so we have to subtract 3 from both sides. So we have x equals negative 3 plus or minus 3. So negative 3 plus 3 is 0, and negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6. So there your answers are 0 and negative 6, or negative 6 and 0. Right, number five, we're going to do the same thing. So we have x plus 2 equals plus or minus 4i. So when there's a negative under the radical, you have to pull out an i. Um, you cannot take the square root of a negative number. That's not real. It's imaginary. So to get rid of that negative, we have to have that i there. So we can subtract 2. So we have x equals negative 2 plus or minus 4i. And so you can leave it like this, or you can break it up and have negative 2 plus 4i or negative 2 minus 4i. But you can use this plus or minus button in Math Excel, and it gives you a little bit less to type. Okay, and then last, number 6, take the square root of both sides, and we get x equals plus or minus 6i. So the square root of negative 36 is 6i. You can get the positive or the negative. Okay, so I know this was just a quick little video, but hopefully it helps you with these problems. They're actually pretty easy, um, so you guys will probably catch on quickly. The most difficult ones are down here when you have that expression being squared. So make sure you have, um, you solve for x after you square, and then you have to have the plus or minus so to get your two answers there. And it, remember, if you have a negative under the radical, you have to pull out an I. And there is an I button in Math Excel. So you do have to use that I button. I don't think it will work the same if you just use the I on the keyboard. I, I can't remember for sure. But there is an I button on your Math Excel toolbar.